Hello guys, this is Chris Vincent out here at JMAT RV in Poto, Oklahoma. I want to send you a quick video. This is a brand new Sanibel 3601 primetime huge nice luxury fifth wheel. What I'm going to do is going to kind of just take you through the outside and the inside so show you some of the high points of it. Uh, let's just start up here in the front. We do have the nice uh, front cap. Uh, really, uh, really nice decals. Makes this, this trailer look sharp. Uh, all the all the walls, all the sides on this, even the slide out walls here are vacuum bonded. So really a strong, uh, durable structure. This is an all weather trailer. Now, by saying that, what I mean by all weather is this front cap right here is R52 insulation. The roof is R52 insulation. The floors is R52 insulation. The back cap is R52 insulation. Even these slide walls, the floors of the slides are R38. And they have insulation around the, uh, the tanks, uh, the tank system in here. That's R38. Also, on the tanks, there are uh, tank heaters, electronic tank heaters. There's a button on the inside where you just hit the button and uh, when the temperature drops below 32 degrees, those, those uh, heaters will kick on and help protect your tank. So what all that means is this is the only trailer that I know of that is rated down below zero. When they test this trailer, they actually tested this trailer at negative 13 degrees. So this, if you're looking for a camper to be more comfortable in the winter and in the summer, this is your camper. So let's go on around and, and look at some of the stuff inside. Uh, right here we have the very uh, convenient uh, all your hookup center here. You, as you can see, you got your low point drains. You have your winterization system here. Uh, all your all your uh, water heater bypass. Uh, the winterization to to, to pump uh, antifreeze from this hose here. Your black tank flush. So if you uh, after you dump your sewer tank, you can put a water hose here, and that's going to help clean out that uh, black tank and, and the, uh, the sensors in there and really helps with the smell. Of course your outdoor shower here with a quick connect, here's your hose for that. Uh, cable, satellite, a uh, couple of satellites, one for the bedroom, one for the uh, main living area. A battery disconnect, your uh, fresh water and city water connections, even your tank pools. Now one of the neat things about this is if you look right here, there's a vent. And so this also goes into that winterization this vent, if the furnace is going, is actively blowing hot air into this compartment and helping protect all your connections. Not only are they not on the outside of the trailer, but they are being protected by that furnace, which is really, really nice. So right here, we do have the six-point auto leveling system. If you look down, here's the middle legs. There's three on each side. These are hydraulic. And right here is the uh, control panel for them. And if you look right there, all you have to do is press that one big auto level and this trailer will auto level itself. Coming on right, right here, right off the bat, you can see the frameless windows. Now these are just a really nice aesthetic addition. It's going to uh, make this trailer look really sharp, but also it kind of decreases on the black streaks coming down. So if it's rain, raining, those seals are a little bit more on the inside and you don't get those streaks so bad on this trailer. Coming on around here to the back. And then right here on the back end, we do have our back cap, uh, like I said, mentioned, R52 insulation. We do have a roof uh, access to this ladder here, so for general maintenance when you get up there, uh, uh, you do have an easy way to get up on that roof. We do have reverse lights in the back end, uh, all these LED, LED lights. Coming on around, uh, really big slides, uh, two big ones on the other side and this large one here with the frameless windows again. If, if you notice, that is an electric awning. And uh, here in a little bit, I'll hit the button and show you how easy that is to get, take in and take out. Uh, but it does have the awning lights over here. Also above, you got the outdoor marine grade speakers. And then this huge, on this other side, this is the pass-through storage. So we've got a huge pass-through storage. And uh, actually, if you look up here, you can actually see another vent right here. So anything in this storage, as long as your furnace is going, it is keeping this climate controlled in here. Over here on the side, we have a radio, uh, even your cable connections, a place for a swing-out TV, 
if you wanted to do a TV. And a really nice system here, you do have the uh, uh, tie down. So that'll, if you need to strap anything down to keep it from moving around. Uh, over here, we do have uh, the 16 inch aluminum wheels. These tires are uh, rate, Goodyear tires rated E. So rated E tires there. And uh, we have the Dexter uh, axles, heavy duty axles, Dexter axles, 7,000 pound axles. Uh, on the hot water heater here, we do have the uh, electric and propane. That is a 10 gallon hot water heater. Three step entry with grab handle assist to, get, to make that uh, easier to get in. Well, come on inside and let's look around in here. Well guys, back here on the back end, this is the, uh, this is gonna be your residential sofa. Now, if you look right down here, this little pin here, this tells me this is Franklin Furniture. Now that is American made furniture. This is really the most comfortable furniture that I have ever set in, in any camper I've been in. So it's one of those things you just gotta set in uh, to, to experience it. Very, very comfortable. Now you still, underneath there, you do have a pulled out bed. Uh, so you can pull that out and a couple of people can sleep here. You do have the nice end tables here for drinks or remotes or whatever you need. Uh, reading lamps, all the lights here are LED, so reading lamp lights for, uh, uh, for accent there. And then right here, this is your home theater uh, recliners. So you do have the recliners here, place for your remotes, your drinks. Again, uh, very, very comfortable furniture. Directly across from this uh, theater seating area is your big, large uh, LCD screen TV. Now this does pull out. You can angle this to whoever wants to see it. If you see right up here, we do have five speakers up here and down uh, somewhere right in behind here is the subwoofer. So you do have 5.1 surround sound. Gives you that big, rich, nice sound. Uh, you have your DVD player right there. Storage all the way around. All the way around this. Now you also have the fireplace, which is really neat. Let me turn this on for you so you can see it. So right there you got your flame effects. If that's too bright, you can turn that down. Also, this will put out heat. Uh, this, uh, in the winter time if it is uh, just kind of like 40 degrees outside and it's just a little nippy chilly in here you know 50 60 degrees instead of wasting your uh, furnace you can turn on that sp that fireplace it's like a space heater and turn the ceiling fan on right up here and uh, that'll really help uh, warm up this area so you don't have to waste your propane saves you a lot of money and it's got a neat little fire effect there and this is a KitchenAid extra large residential refrigerator so just a ton ton of storage here so this is electric only however this trailer does have an inverter and you can turn that inverter on and as you're going down the road this refrigerator will still work so it only needs a little bit of uh, energy so your truck will actually provide that going down the road so if you've got a big 10 12 hour road trip, the refrigerator will still work going down the road. No problems there. Uh, really nice island here. A lot of counter space. One of the reasons there's a lot of counter space are these flush sinks. Uh, so we got 50-50 stainless steel sink. These, uh, these covers that will fit over there nicely that if you're not using the sink, you have just that much more counter space. High rise pull out residential faucet in the kitchen area. We do have this extra large residential microwave, high point microwave, three burner stove top with a 22 inch, that is the largest oven uh, in the industry, 22 inch oven. And then really nice backsplash back here. And again, more storage just everywhere. Look at this uh, pantry. So really, a, really plenty of places to put your food or plates or whatever you need. It does have little nice nice trim effects like up here we do have the uh, pendant lights. Uh, these are uh, uh, again LED lights. While we're looking at the ceiling, 
we do have LED lights all through the ceiling, and I, I, I showed you the attic fan, but also this trailer has two air conditioners, but they are quiet cool air conditioners. And what that means is they are 75% quieter than normal air conditioning, but they are 25% more efficient. So when you turn these on, you're not having to talk over the TV. You're not having to turn the TV up so you can hear it because of the air conditioning. So they're gonna put out 25% more air, but be 75% quieter, which is a really nice feature in this trainer. So coming on around right here at the entry door, we have a nice little coat closet here. So a lot of times you get a little small coat closet. This one's actually a rather large one, so you can actually put coats in there and not have to worry. And more storage down below and even a place to kick your shoes off uh, down at the bottom there. Extra wide entry here up into the bathroom and bedroom area. And this bedroom slide, it, it's not just the bed. If you look, it comes all the way down to here. And what this will do, I'll show you, it gives you extra closet space in this hallway. So let's come on up here and look around. First off, in the bathroom, uh, we do have a really large shower insert, and you can see the bench there. So the ladies can sit down there, shave your legs, or you can put your uh, soap, shampoo, whatever you need. And if you look at the top there, there's a caddy there, and another caddy at the top, so you can uh, put in your soap and whatever. whatever. And then right over here to the right, we do have extra storage for uh, towels, washcloths. You don't have to keep the towels somewhere else. You can have them here in the bathroom. On the uh, toilet, this is a porcelain residential height foot flush toilet. And then over here, we do have our uh, vanity with a medicine cabinet. Again, LED lighting. Well, let's look in the hallway here. So that slide comes on down right here and gives you this extra space here. Now you can tell this can either be a, a dresser or you can raise that and you got a bar up here above it so it can be extra closet space. So however you want to use it and then you got this nice large drawer down below it. Now in the bedroom we do have this a full door for uh, for privacy. King size bed and usually with a king size bed you do not get an end table. This one actually will give you back an end table here with multiple drawers and, the, and you do have plug-ins so uh, so you can put your alarm clock or whatever you need right here. At the foot of the bed we do have uh, plenty of place here. Uh, this is your dresser. You got six really deep deep uh, cabinets there for whatever you want to, you know, uh, jeans, shirts, towels, whatever. And then storage on either end of this uh, second entertainment center. So right here is also your bedroom TV. And it does have the satellite hookups. You can notice again a king size bed, really nice headboard, LED reading lights right above it. And then even under the bed here, We have a ton of storage. So blankets or just just about whatever you can think to put under there. And it is, the, the gas arms do hold that up and help you lift in this bed. Huge closet in here. So a bar all the way across. And if you look in there, we do have storage on the left for all your shoes. And then we do have four of those really large deep drawers that will pull out so just again tons and tons of storage and over here to the right that bar continues so if you want to you can use that for more closet storage however if you notice it does have the washer dryer connections in there so if you wanted to do a stackable washer dryer you could in this trailer okay guys this trailer is also one of the only trailers that I know of that offers no discrimination for full-time users. Uh, prime time, they know that people are living and working out of these Sanibels, and so it is warranted for full-time users. So that's a really nice feature on this trainer. Well guys, this is that brand new 
Sanibel 3601. If you have any more questions about this trailer, you can get a hold of me toll free at 888-293-2211. Or you can email me at c-v-i-n-s-o-n at j-a-m-a-t-t-r-v dot com. Hope to hear from you soon. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.